Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at racial context. Uh, this is part one of a two part mini series. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so looking at this uh, question one here, we've got 15 kilometers that's been done in 20 minutes. And we want to try and figure out um, what is that as a speed over per hour. So, so how many kilometers per hour? Now, we know that in one hour there is 60 minutes, so we've got to try and convert this ratio into 60 minutes. Now, so the way we're going to write it is we're actually going to put it, uh, so we're going to put in 15 to 20. Uh, so what, what that means is that like um, basically that's saying for every 15 kilometers, it's going to take 20 minutes. Now I want to figure out um, how many kilometers is covered in 60 minutes. So in other words, I am actually looking for what is this um, question mark going to be for 60 minutes? And the best way to do this, and I mean, there is so many ways to do this. You could actually have a fraction equals another fraction. Uh, and I'm going to show you all the three different methods, and then you can pick whichever method you prefer to go with. So the first method, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to figure out what number I need to multiply by 20 to get to 60. Um, and I know that 60 divided by 20 times 3 is actually 60. And remember this conversation that we've had before with ratios is whatever you multiply with one side, you've got to do it on the other side as well. So that means I've got to do 15 times 3. And when I do this, I am going to end up with 45. So the actual answer for this question is going to be 45 kilometers per hour. Now, another way you could do this is you could write 15 over 20 as a little fraction and put that equals to. And of course, on the other side, your denominator is going to be 60. And once again, if you think about it, what are you doing to the 20? Because this is equivalent fractions. So we're doing multiplied by three in the numerator and the denominator to give us 45. Now, in some cases, the questions are fairly uh, quite easy because you can just look at the time and go, okay, so for example, looking at question two, you've got 25 kilometers in 30 minutes. That's half an hour. So for one hour, you're just gonna have to double everything, which means you're gonna get 50 uh, for 60 minutes. So question two is just gonna be 50 kilometers per hour because remember, one hour is 60 minutes. But let's get to something like question three here. Now question three here, what we've got is, we've got 30 kilometers in 45 minutes. So we've got a 30 to 45, and we wanna actually try and figure out what is it going to be for 60 minutes. Now, again, couple of ways of doing this. So you could actually work out what, um, how many kilometers you're covering in 15 minutes and then multiply it by four, because 15 times four is um, 60. The other option to do is to do something like this. And, I, and let's just see how this is gonna work out. So what you could do is you could actually do, if you do have a calculator, is go 60 divided by 45. Now when you do 60 divided by 45, you're gonna get four thirds. Uh, and of course, this as a decimal is 1.333. And okay, let's just see, that's gonna, well, I mean, it's still doable. But let me show you uh, folks another trick. What if we change that 45 minutes into 15 minutes? And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna divide 45 by three and we're gonna do 30 divided by three. And when we do that, 30 divided by three is 10 and 45 divided by three is 15. But now I also know that 15 times four is 60. So I know that 15 times four is 60 which means on the other side, I've also got to do 10 times four, which is going to give me a, a final answer of 40. But let's say you do have a calculator and you actually kind of went, okay, look, I'm going to do 60 divided by 45. That gives me four, four thirds. So let's go back here. So we're going to put down 30 to 45, question mark to 60. And I found out that um, I need to go 45 times four thirds to get to 60, which means I've got to do 30 times 4 thirds. And if I do 4 thirds times 30, I actually end up with the answer of 40. That's a second way of doing it. Now there is a third way of doing this as well. The third way um, is actually putting both of these things together like this. 30 over 45 is equal to, um, 
actually you know what i'm not going to do the third method if you are keen on it just pop it in the comment section below and i'll actually try and do it later because i'm i'm wary of overloading you with uh, information here all right so let's have a look at question four question four we've got 18 kilometers in 24 minutes and once again we want to figure out what is it going to be for 60 minutes so we're going to do 60 divided by 24 first because that's going to give us a coefficient that we can multiply by and in this case it's 5 over 2 and as a decimal it's going to be 2.5 so 24 times 2.5 is 60 18 times 2.5 is going to give us the answer that we're actually looking for so 2.5 times 18 and that's going to be 45 so here it's going to be 45 kilometers per hour of course you could always do 24 divided by 4 to get it to 6 and then multiplied by 10 to get to 60 multiple ways of doing these types of questions so the last one i've got 35 divided uh, sorry 35 to 40 and I would like to know what is it going to be for 60. So in this particular case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 60 over 40. So 60 divided by 40, which is going to give me 3 over 2. That's 1.5. So I want to multiply by 1.5. And I've also got to do 35 times 1.5. So if I do 35 times 1.5, that's going to give me this which is, I think I've done something wrong here. Let's try that again. 35 times 1.5. Let's do that. That's 52.5. So here we're going to write this as 52.5 kilometers per hour. So as you can see with ratios, I mean, there's multiple ways of doing this types of questions. Uh, you could actually bring it down to even to one minute and then multiply it by 60 minutes. Um, lots of different ways to go about to solve these types of questions all right folks that is basically it for this video as always don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content now there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here great material for revision and as always thank you for watching